So when I was brainstorming for this video, I wanted to structure this video in a way where I could talk about every single roller coaster at Hershey Park. So the best format I thought of that would best allow this would be to do a format similar to my have and have nots video. So that means we're going to be doing a tier list style form. I just want to throw out a disclaimer at the start of the video. With that out of the way, we're going to hop into our first category, which are the locks. So the coasters you see on your screen now are the locks. These are the coasters that, in my opinion, aren't going anywhere anytime soon. These coasters are Cannemonium, Coco Cruiser, Comet, Great Bear, Laugh Track, Super Duper Looper, and the Trailblazer. So let's go over why I find all these coasters as locks. Cannemonium, it was brand new in 2020. It's a BM hyper. They are as reliable as you could probably get. This thing's not going anywhere. Coco Cruiser. This is the only kitty coaster in Hershey Park's lineup. So without it, they wouldn't have a kiddie coaster. Also, it takes up a really tiny amount of land. Surgery Park couldn't do really anything else with this land anyhow. So Coco Cruiser, it's not going anywhere. The Comet. This was the second coaster in Hershey Park's history, and it's the current oldest operating coaster at the park. It's still running great. This coaster holds a huge piece of Hershey Park's history, and Hershey Park will do whatever and anything they possibly can to keep Comet up. It's not going anywhere. Great Bear. This is one of Hershey Park's best coasters. It is reliable, the GP love it, and it's still running great for today. The fact that it's still running great is the key to all this. Since it's still running so good, Hershey Park does not have a reason to remove it. The Laugh Track. The Laugh Track is a really solid, fun, indoor family coaster. While enthusiasts don't really care for it that much, the kids and the families do. This thing still has massive lines to this very day, and it'd be pretty dumb for Hershey to remove such a popular coaster. And the last two, Super Blooper and the Trailblazer, these are also very famous Hershey Park coasters. They're old, yes, but they're also very famous. But the main reason I don't think why they're going anywhere is because of the land they take up. The Trailblazer and Super Blooper really use the terrain to their advantage, and if they were to remove these coasters, there's not much they could do with the land they take up. So unless they start breaking down and have some really expensive parts, there's really no good reason for Hershey Park to remove these coasters, simply because they wouldn't be able to do anything with the land they use anyhow. You probably noticed three certain coasters that were not on the locks list. These are the Storm Runner, Fahrenheit, and Sky Rush. You would assume these coasters are locks just because these are some of Hershey Park's best coasters, just like how the Great Bear was on the locks list. But here's the problem with these coasters. These coasters are all made by Intamin. If they were not made by any other ma manufacturer other than Intamin, they would be a lock. But they're made by Intamin, and Intamin is notorious for being such an unreliable manufacturer. Just look at Volcano the Blast Coaster at King's Dominion, for example. That coaster got dumped, and no one expected it to. That was one of King's Dominion's best coasters at the time, if not their best coaster. But due to maintenance, due to parts, like the park just could not financially afford Volcano anymore. Now, I do think all three of these coasters are under the locks category, but at the same time, like if we look at the Storm Runner right now, how its launch cable is donezo right now, they had to get a new one. If these things start to pile up on, one, uh, on top of each other for these coasters, they could sadly be removed just because of the nature of Intamin roller coasters. It sucks, it's awful that Intamin has this track record but it's certainly worth being noted for Storm Runner, Fahrenheit, and Sky Rush. There's nothing about these coasters that would not make me want to not remove them, other than the fact they're made by Intamin, and on a hand's notice, they could be down for a year for with maintenance. It's just, it's awful. Another thing to note about these three coasters is, out of the three, Sky Rush has actually had like the Intimidator 305 problem, where it's kind of too intense for its own good, and it kind of scares the GP away, but I do not by any means think that's going to be a reason that Sky Rush is going to be removed from Hershey Park. It's just worth noting. I think all these three coasters are locks, but their manufacturer just has to make them their own separate tier. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Danger Zone. These are the coasters that I could be seeing getting removed from Hershey Park in the near future. These coasters are the Wildcat, Lightning Racer, Wild Mouse, and the Sidewinder. Let's just go in the order these coasters are shown on screen. The Wildcat. How many times do I need to talk about this topic? You guys are I'm going with this. GCI, RMC, one of you two, do your magic. 
on the Wildcat, turn it into a hybrid coaster, and then we can all move on for days and be extremely happy that the Wildcat is now a hybrid. Unfortunately, I've been seeing from a lot of enthusiasts out there, a lot of people in the Hershey community say that this might not be the GCI they choose to do this with. Which brings us to the Lightning Racer. And you guys know I'm the biggest Lightning Racer fan you'll ever meet, and I hope I never see the day where this comes a reality, but I have to at least acknowledge it. Hershey Park might not want to arm sear GCI the Wildcat because it was the first ever GCI that was ever built that has a lot of historical context in the whole coaster saga, the whole coaster community. The Wildcat is a very significant coaster. So they might choose to do the Lightning Racer instead. Hershey Park might want to see a dueling hybrid coaster, which would be amazing, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, something like Twisted Colossus at Hershey Park would be phenomenal. But I love the Lightning Racer too much to see that possibility. So I'm just going to dethrone this. I'm just, It's not going to exist. It's not going to happen. I hope not. But I'm acknowledging it. So that's why Wildcat and Lightning Racer are there. Now for the next two, we have Wild Mouse and Sidewinder. These two should kind of stand for themselves. These are very sore thumbs in Hershey Park's coaster lap. You got amazing coasters like Sky Rush, Fahrenheit, Great Bear, Storm Runner, and then you have you have a unique kitty coasters, family coasters like Laugh Track, Comet, Super Blooper, etc. Then you have the Wild Mouse and the Sidewinder. These are just like carnival fair-like rides, clones you can find anywhere at your average Six Flags park or at some other park. They just don't really belong in Hershey anymore in 2020. They've done their job, they've ran their course, but they're clones. And Hershey Park is now at the spot where they can take out these rides and gain valuable land, put in another flat ride, put in anything else. Like, I love, I don't love it, but I appreciate Wild Mouse and Sidewinder for what they are. But it's time. It's time for them to go. It, 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 it does hurt to see these rides go just because I've been at Hershey my whole life and I've ridden these coasters my whole life. But it's time. They've ran their course and it's time for them to be removed just for... It's just they've ran their lifespan. They've ran their lifespan, and now it's time for them to be removed. But these are all my opinions. Let me know what your thoughts are on Hershey Park and what their next coast removal may be. Tell them in the comments down below. I will heart and respond to every single one of your comments. You guys have been giving so much love to the channel lately, and I greatly appreciate it. So let's keep that train rolling on this video. Please like, please subscribe, please share. It helps me out so, so much. You guys have no idea. I'm approaching monetization, and if I can start making money off of YouTube, I can help make even bigger and better content for you guys. So it's a win-win. Please subscribe. Please like. I would appreciate it so much. Other than that, from the sweetest channel on Earth to the sweetest viewers on Earth, I bid you all farewell. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace.